So remember at the African History Network, we focus on educating, empowering, and inspiring people of African descent throughout the diaspora and around the world, because right now it's correct wrong behavior. And remember, people's history and culture teaches them how to deal with the problems of the past in the present and the future to meet the needs of the community. People's history and culture teaches them how to deal with the problems of the past in the present and the future to meet the needs of the, of the community. We have a, a long history of African-American entrepreneurship, whether we're talking about Annie Turnbull, Annie Turnbull Malone, who in 1925 hired, uh, or not 1925, 1915, hired a, um, uh, no, sorry, go back. Uh, it would be 1905, uh, hired a um, washerwoman from St. Louis and taught her the hair care business. And that washerwoman was named Sarah Breedlove. Sarah Breedlove went, went on to become known as Madam C.J. Walker. Annie Turnbull Malone was Madam C.J. Walker's mentor. And it was Annie Turnbull Malone who was basically the one who created the black hair care industry. Um, and then uh, you have uh, Madam C.J. Walker, you have a John Merrick in the New York, uh, the North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company, okay? Uh, in North, North Carolina, uh, you have uh, Booker T. Washington in the uh, uh, National Business League or the Negro Business League. And then also you have the, um, uh, the, the uh, merchants, uh, the Colored Merchants Association as well. That's going to be formed in the 1920s, the Colored Merchants Association. And the Colored Mer Merchants Association was designed to teach African American store owners, especially grocery store owners, how to better compete against the chain grocery stores. Okay, and they gave them uh, tips on marketing. Uh, they would uh, oftentimes buy products and things like this in bulk to get lower prices. This was the Colored Merchants Association. Um, we have a whole history of cooperative economics. Uh, Dr. Jessica Gordon Nimhard, who, who I interviewed before, she wrote a book called Collective Courage, Collective Courage. And Collective Courage deals with a history of African American co-ops. We were talking about the Colored Farmers Union, the Colored Farmers uh, Association that they had like in Texas, uh, whether, we, whether we're talking about the uh, things like uh, the uh, different benevolent societies that were created to uh, raise money for people who died and didn't have uh, life insurance. Um, we have a whole history of cooperative economics, okay? So a lot of people who think African-Americans don't have a history of entrepreneurship, it's just not true. Number one, when we study African history, we understand it was African nations, African people who first created economies in the first place. Okay, is African people who are going to be the first entrepreneurs. Um, and then in a lot of these great African societies that we talk about, whether they talk about ancient Kemet or Egypt, Nubia, Tanahesi, Ethiopia, Abyssinia, Ghana, Songhai, Mali, uh, any of these nations, when we talk about Kenya, Zimbabwe, what have you, we're going to see that they have some type of economy. When we talk about Mansa Musa on this Hajj to Mecca, Mansa Musa becomes emperor of the Mali Empire, 1312 AD, richest man in the history of the world. There's an economy there in Mali, okay? You have these, these huge uh, uh, gold, this huge, huge gold deposit, but there's an economy in Mali, all right? And in many of these African societies, historically, as well as today, there's some type of African marketplace where people have these little businesses and little stands and they're selling things, they're selling fruit, they're selling all different types of things, they're selling produce. So we come from a people who have economies, but many of us act like we don't have that type of history. So we'll talk about Arabs have a history of entrepreneurship and Chaldeans have a history of entrepreneurship. And we'll say, oh, well, you know, uh, Jews have a history of entrepreneurship. Ooh. Who the hell you think created economies? Who, who do you think created economic systems? 